you open your notebook ready to run this shiny block of code but bam module not found error no module name scikit-learn sound familiar don't worry in next few minutes i'll show you exactly how to install any python package in arcgis pro like a pro no error no headache and no mysterious command line let's turn this red line red message into the green success let's get started In order to add the any kind of additional packages, you need to go to package manager and then you can see it here from your active Python environment. By default, ArcGIS Pro use the Conda environment to handle its packages. And right now these are the 225 packages that are installed inside, inside this ArcGIS Pro. And of course you can search for a few different packages i think there are around like maybe eight thousand packages so you can simply search here or maybe you need to clone the environment first maybe click on this link and then copy this and then now you are trying to clone the environment because you cannot modify the default python environment which is arcgis pro dash pi 3 uh, this is the default environment and if you try to install any additional library in default environment then you might have some conflict um, in the arcgis pro that's why it always recommend us to create the new environment that's why we colon this uh, this python environment it will take some time to colon the environment so if that we will uh, try to install some additional packages in that uh, colon environment while it's installing i want to show you the process or what i am going to do the next First of all, I open the ArcGIS Pro and then clone the environment, which is I'm doing right now. And then next thing is to search for Python command prompt. And basically this command prompt is for the ArcGIS Pro environment. And I'll show you in a minute. And after that, we'll install the required package and then activate those environment and then try to run the code again. All right, so looks like our environment is created successfully. So we can close this and then we can activate the new environment, right? And after that, the other thing is you can search for Python command prompt. And then if you check the file location, so you will see that uh, it's inside ArcGIS, ArcGIS Pro, right? So basically, if you open that command prompt, so you will run it in the ArcGIS environment. So just search for Python command prompt and then verify whether it's from like ArcGIS Pro or not. So one way to verify it is uh, since if it's the active environment in your ArcGIS Pro, then you'll see this kind of like uh, front like uh, prefix so yeah that means it's already activated right if the environment is not activated by default then you can uh, activate is it with conda activate arcgis pro pi 3 clone and yeah looks like uh, for the first time i need to hit conda init INIT and then only I can switch the conda environment. So basically conda activate oh sorry again conda activate pi3 clone looks like I also need to restart the cell so let's close and then open the python sorry not this one python command prompt and then now let's try again let me zoom in conda activate arcgis pro pi 3 colon and since i'm already inside that 
uh, environment so it's doing nothing for me but it should be fine uh, it should be good with you as well and now you can install the required packages for example last time we tried to import the scikit-learn library and we got an issue that's why maybe you can use either pip or conda environment and then you can install scikit-learn and it's downloading and it's now installing the library and after that you should be fine you can i think run the arcgis pro notebook and if anything is not working that's probably because um, it's not implemented uh, so you might need to restart the like either arcgis pro or your command prompt otherwise it should be fine so yeah it says that it's successfully installed let's try first with without like uh, restarting our server i think it might get an issue or it might like run properly let's check okay looks like uh, it's still not implemented one best way is to uh, best way to restart is simply close that file and then re reopen the arcgis pro and now open your project file and first of all let's check whether we are in good environment or not so active environment is arcgis pro py3 clone which is good and now let's try to run it again boom this time yeah we are successfully able to run that means the package is installed successfully so in this way basically if you want to install any package then you can simply uh, install any packages using either pip or conda environment from python command prompt or uh, the easiest way to install some of the package is by like using this add package button and then for the scikit-learn scikit-learn since it's the popular model so it's available here simply you can install it right and but for the some of the my packages for example geotile it's not available here right but of course if you want to install the geotile then simply you need to install it via conda and then conda install minus c conda fork uh, install like geotile so yeah that's the way so yeah finally we are able to like change our red color errors to the green success button so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching